on today's menu, a recipe that's humming with flavor. Super crispy chickpea fritters. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. You're in for a real treat because this recipe is incredibly delicious and really simple to put together. Of course, as always, before we get started, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let's begin. Two medium potatoes, peeled. Chop the potatoes into cubes. Chopping the potatoes into cubes will help them cook faster. Transfer the potatoes to a stock pot. Add enough water to cover the potatoes. Boil the potatoes until fork tender. Be sure to always keep an eye on boiling potatoes for a can boil over. 400ml can chickpeas. You can save the chickpea water or aquafaba to make a thick chickpea mayonnaise. Rinse the chickpeas with some water. Use a fork to mash the chickpeas. Coarsely mashing the chickpeas will bring a delightful texture alongside the potatoes. One onion finely chopped. Three pieces of garlic finely chopped. Check the potatoes if they're tender enough to mash. Strain out the potatoes and transfer to a large mixing bowl. Frying pan, medium heat, one tablespoon avocado oil, onions. Saute the onions for five to six minutes. In the meantime, mash the potatoes. Garlic. Saute for another couple of minutes. One and a half teaspoons cumin. One and a half teaspoons sweet paprika. One and a half teaspoons smoked paprika. One teaspoon cayenne pepper. One teaspoon salt. Give the pan a stir and cook for about a minute. This way the spices will really infuse into the onions and garlic. Transfer the spiced onions and garlic to the potatoes. Mashed chickpeas. Add a handful of freshly chopped cilantro. Mix together the delicious flavors. Create the fritter by making a puck shape about a third cup worth of potato. Repeat until you run out of potato. This recipe makes 10 fritters, but of course you can multiply it to make more. You can also experiment with sweet potato if you wish. These are looking adorable. You can definitely just spray some oil on them at this stage and just bake them in the oven for about 400 degrees, 20, 25 minutes or so, just so they have a little bit of a golden crust. But in today's episode, we're gonna make them max level crispy. Have two bowls ready, one for a dry station and one for wet. Start with one cup flour in the dry station. Three quarter cups flour in the wet station. This is a delicious coconut cashew milk I made in a previous episode. I'll definitely leave a link in the description box below for you to make this really easy at home. Of course, if you don't have this on hand, you can totally just use water for this, totally fine. Half cup milk. Mix together to combine.
begin by rolling the fritter in a dry station. Shake off the excess, then transfer and roll in the wet station. Shake off the excess and transfer back to the dry station. Give it a roll, shake off the excess, then set aside. Repeat with the rest of the fritters. There's no seasoning in the flour, as we'll be making a delicious dipping sauce at the end of the episode. It's ideal to fry these right away, for the flour may start to moisten and start to stick together. Frying pan. 2 cups avocado oil. Alternatively, you can use another neutral flavor oil like grapeseed. Heat up the oil for a couple of minutes on medium. If you stick in a bamboo chopstick and see fast moving bubbles, it's ready. Very carefully place in the fritters. Fry in two batches so you're not overcrowding the pan. Let it fry for a few minutes, keeping an eye on that beautiful golden brown color. Very carefully turn over the fritters. Always be very careful when working with hot oil. Be sure you have a good grip to prevent splashing the hot oil. Let it cook for another couple of minutes, keeping an eye again on that beautiful golden brown color. Very carefully transfer them to a cooling rack. Very carefully place in the second batch of fritters. Repeat until the fritters are beautiful golden brown. Especially when you're frying food, never leave the pan unattended. When the fritters are done, transfer to the cooling rack. The cooking oil can be reused at least one more time. Be sure it's 100% cooled down before straining out. Try not to snack on the fritters while we make the delicious dipping sauce. Quarter cup tahini. Half cup yogurt. In this episode, I'm using a coconut yogurt that will add a refreshing coconut flavor to the dip. Pinch of salt. Squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Small bunch of freshly chopped dill. Give the dip a mix to combine. Plate the dip. Garnish with some fresh dill. Plate the crispy chickpea fritters and stack them high. We can now serve up this amazing recipe with absolute confidence. These look and smell incredible. This certainly makes it to one of the top of my list of comfort foods. That beautifully breaded, crispy outer layer just visually looks so alluring, so beautifully golden brown. And with that first bite, you are welcomed with this explosion of contrasting flavors. There's that crispy texture from the outer layer and that tenderness from the potatoes and chickpeas. But there's this extraordinary flavor in the spices that was sauteed along with the onions and garlic. There's that little bit of heat from the cayenne pepper, but then it's cooled down and balanced out with the delightful coconut yogurt. The herbs add so much freshness and that lemon juice really brightens up that dip. You get not only contrasting flavors of that earthiness in the potato, but also contrasting colors with the earthy colors from the fritters and that pearly white of the coconut yogurt dip. When enjoyed together, it's so savory and yet refreshing. So crispy and yet mellow at the same time. Make this at your next get together and you will definitely be the dinner party hero. Like I always say, it's recipes like this that's just simple, delicious, but makes it so exciting to cook at home. And if you love the delicious recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube, you can definitely find most of them in the three Young Men Cooking cookbooks. There is a print or digital version of these books. You can also check out the Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass and other Young Men Cooking merch. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out all those things, or you can visit youngmencooking.com. If you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, definitely do so, and I'll see you in the next episode.